Dear Diary, it's right now 2 p.m. and I've pretty much woke up a bit more earlier than I should have. And uh, things are pretty calm. My dad is asleep and mom is outside. And both siblings are freaking awake, but I guess they're calm. Today, I thought I would be awake on something nice, but literally 10 a.m. today, I've woke up in, or 9 a.m. First, it was like 9 degrees, the last time I checked my phone. Not only that, but um, I, I kept walking around the hall and around my living room. Unfortunately, not being able to resist the, god, the goddamn thoughts about um, what could have happened if I had just pointed out the consistencies on that day. Which is really ironic that I actually should have just done that. I should have just been as an asshole, just like how they were like an asshole to me. But then again, uh, I didn't do that because I was just too shocked and too fucking nice and completely stupid to think that they would ever listen to reason. <laughs> reasoning. Where is the reasoning after all? <sighs> and I'm going to try and get myself a really, really fast and quick breakfast because it's, like I said, it's 2 p.m. Not only that, but um, today is my last day of my holiday and tomorrow is going to be the first goddamn day of the second semester of college and hopefully, hopefully, um, Nothing stupid happened in there, aside from the results being shown up, since that results in our college really love to show up very late, like very, very late. <sighs> um, and today I'm just going to try and make use of the whole day, whether in playing uh, I don't know, most of my favorite Konami games, or just um, literally sitting down listening to music. Partially betrayal and uh, misery music in all of its areas. And um, yeah, and sometimes. Sometimes I would just make some remixes to most random tunes. Like, I don't know. I don't really know. But what I know is that I'm going to have to, to make the most of my day. Because tomorrow it's going to be back all over to the goddamn hell again. Because this whole semester was a pure hell. And obviously, I didn't get the holiday that I was supposed to get. Except for one day. Then I wouldn't know that the, its next day would just turn out to be a huge fucking mistake. Yeah. And let's be real. Like, let's be real. Going on field trips like that on a Friday was none other than a big fat mistake in my life. Never gonna do it again, honestly. And hopefully, hopefully at the at this semester, at the next semester's holiday, if I could ever live up to that, I would. I would, I guess, appreciate every moment that I am 
not related or have any kind of stupid business on social media. As a matter of fact, sometimes I would, um, sometimes I'm thinking of quitting role playing for those who I'm role playing with. Was it in a private server or in DMs? Like, honestly, even if I'm going to still role play, I guess I'm going to make it like a very short one. Casual and stupid one. Unlike the ones that get written and make you completely fucked up at the wrong times. Uh, yeah. And if truth to be told, me being at the role playing side of social media, I guess, was a real mistake. The real mistake that started it all. And, uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe being a Nintendo fan on Smash Ultimate because of social media is just a big mistake? It's all a matter of questioning and lamenting and completely reflecting on everything. That literally makes you want to die. You know? That usually makes you want to die and just go away. You know... You know what I'm really thinking of? I'm thinking of becoming another .exe. I'll be simply the cursed incarnation of what the social media has ever created. And everything's gonna be just cursed, creepy pasta, murders, and all that. You know, like in Sonic.exe or Mario.exe. There's even a Pacman.exe. And later on, it's gonna be a Megaman.exe. Not Battle Network, but the creepy pasta or our good old motherfucking. NES homeboy. Oh Crazy, am I right? And to be really fair, it's probably the last time I'm gonna probably mention that. I don't know. Can't really tell. Can't really tell whether I'm alive or struggling or, you know, even. You know, still exist. <sighs> I'm just wondering on one thing. What is the purpose? Like, what is even the purpose anymore? Oh, well. I guess no one will ever know. Maybe... Maybe it's just another big fat mistake. Who knows? <sighs> you know, I've always thought that I would stick with those fighting games or Smash Ultimate or everything. But thanks to the social media, everything, like all of that just got flipped. A fandom or two can just do a lot to you. And maybe. The dramas. Who knows? Who knows, really? <sighs> well, I guess gaming online and gaming online only would benefit so much better. Not only that, but literally um, gaming alone would just benefit even more because you know exploring the games by yourself is way better than exploring it from internet maybe youtube but not social media there's a huge difference for that yeah like literally i've reached to a point where even like asking was really my life, my whole life leading up to this was ever worth it? Was my existence and being born even worth it? Yeah. Personally? Like, personally? None of it was ever worth it. 
But then again, you just gotta live sometimes for the smallest thing. Like I said, playing the MSX version of Snatcher, especially early in the morning, or playing the good old PS2 part of uh, the Iron Man on your favorite PS2 or on your PC, depends on whether you own a real console or not. And literally at like 11 in the morning at your local PC or at your laptop or at your TV where everything is just fine, you know, or, or simply just, you know, playing a little bit of Mugen, which I do not recommend, by the way, not even early in the morning or even making videos about them, you know, or simply playing the KOF, KOF 97, you know, playing KOF 97's Neo Geo CD port with the arranged soundtrack, well you finish the game with uh, Team Sacred Treasures, you know, basically those are the smallest things that used to make me feel good. Oh, I got another one. Basically, um, playing most of your PS2 or most of your, you know, PlayStation 3 or ridiculously crazy quality games like Tekken 7 or playing Tekken 5. And again, at early in the morning, in the middle of the sun, whatsoever, you know, when it's all clear and warm. And sometimes it gets better when you're at a solid place, because that's how I have discovered Tekken 5. And so on. Basically, the smallest thing are what matter. Although, nowadays, they probably don't have any effect on me. Not a sense of nostalgia or enjoyment or anything. Like, yeah, smallest things are what matter. Of course, I and before gonna find people making fun of that as well. Cause, you know, nothing is ever serious. But believe me. Every smallest thing that anyone does nowadays is now way better. Way, way better than anyone could ever imagine. Even better than goddamn going outside and touching grass. Yeah. In fact, the only, the only time where you can actually go outside is when you have your weapons ready to destroy the fucking world. This is the time where you can fucking go outside so that you can become a serial killer on seven states. Because of what? Because we live in a bitch ass world. <sighs> That's enough out of me for now.